We're currently working through our third particle motion problem. This is one where our velocity is not given by a function, but by a graph. And so we're using the graph to answer questions about the position of the particle and the acceleration of the particle at different times and intervals. So let's wrap up this problem that they're asking us about. So Part C and D, they want to know the net distance the particle travels from 0 to 10 seconds. And then in Part D, they want to know the total distance the particle travels. Remember back at the front of the unit on page 528, we talk about the difference between the two of them. So the net distance, we want to talk about the distance that's moving to the right as a positive number, the distance that's moving to the left as a negative number, and they might cancel each other out if we've got both of them. But the total distance, we want to talk about the distance moving to the right and the distance moving to the left. We want to add those distances together because we want to know how far the particle traveled, not just the, the difference between where it started and where it ended. All right. So once again, as the problem says, this is just the definite integral from 0 to 10 of v of t dt. All right, so let's do the same thing we did when we calculated the definite integral um, in part A, except this time we'll calculate the area of the whole region. So we've got this triangle. So it's got a base of two and a height of five. So the area of it is two times five and a half of that. So this is five. This rectangle is now 10 because it's got a base of two and a height of five. We already calculated this part is five. And then down here, we calculated that this part of the graph was negative two and it's gonna be just negative two on the other side, getting back up to the end. Okay, so now that we've calculated all of that, what are the answers to parts C and D going to be? Well, it started off, this is saying that the particle started off wherever it started, and then it moved five and then 10 and then five for a total of 20 units to the right. And then it moved four units back to the left. And so the net distance the particle traveled was 16. 16 what? 16 feet. Okay, so the net distance is the total of this definite integral. How does the total distance differ from the net distance? Remember, this is the definite integral from 0 to 10 of the absolute value of v of t dt. All right, so this time we've got the 20 that it moved to the right, and then it moved four to the left, but we want to say it moved 20 feet and then it moved another four feet. So it moved a total distance of 24 feet. Okay, so that's how the difference is between net distance and total distance. And you can see that very clearly when you're looking at a graph like this. Okay, so hopefully that difference between net distance and total distance is making a little bit of sense when you're seeing it in an applied problem. All right, in the next video, we're gonna look at the last unit, for the last problem for this section, uh, where once again, we've got a whole different way, something that we're familiar with doing uh, for calculating or at least estimating uh, the position of a particle.